Hello friends, this uh, video, I thought let, I, I, I just want to, to do stuff on my uh, webpage here and record the process and then we'll see what, what, what we'll do, you know. I tried to adding, um, like a, I talked about it, a, a pattern, a background pattern, uh, so to speak. Let's see, yeah, let's do it like this. So you can see now, also... Let's add this guy here and horizontally split. And then maybe this. And I actually think it, it, it made a big difference just adding a simple uh, background uh, SVG pattern as I have here. Maybe this is not the most fun pattern in the world. I also experimenting putting the banner here in the same container as the article itself which I also think uh, looks better but as you can see it's not it, it's a bit broken here with the background and the borders and stuff around around that but that's something I thought we could fix here and also this uh, background pattern uh, at some screen sizes here for example now I would rather not have the background visible and maybe show it somewhere around here uh, 1200 uh, viewport size uh, and that means I will need to make a, 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 a special breakpoint for that because you can see the ex, extra large breakpoint is somewhere almost at 1300 pixels there. I, I don't know where it is. Yeah, 1280 I believe is the breakpoint point for, for that. But I would actually like to add a, a, a special breakpoint at 1200 here where, where the background is visible. Uh, I also tried some different patterns here. Um, I will show you where, where, where I found these uh, patterns. This one is really cool. It's like uh, cogs instead. Check it out. It's great. And sure, it's it's a bit generic, you know, and and I'm probably not the only one in the world who would use this. Uh, but I'm thinking I, I think I want to use this for now. Uh, this cogs uh, uh, background. But then um, later try to design like my own or add some other cool uh, uh, SVG patterns, you know. Because one cool thing with SVG is that you can scale it, you know, it's vector graphics. So it doesn't, doesn't lose uh, um, resolution or how to say it, depending on how you scale. But this looks kind of much nicer than no background at all, you know. It was so, so static in a way, without the background, like this, makes a big difference. Uh, and I found these uh, uh, patterns on, let's see if we can find it, yeah, here it is open, hero patterns, uh, heropatterns.com. Uh, it's, a, it's a somewhat small collection here with different SVG uh, uh, patterns. That you can use for for yeah for backgrounds on, on for example a web page, and uh, the the stupid way to do this is to just click on one of these, copy this stuff here, and add it to your CSS in the body uh, um, as a rule for the body if you want that. But uh, you could add it as a background for for other blocks as well. I believe I don't know which pattern I, I copied there now, but we will see. There, yeah, the circuit board. This, I don't know. And also I was thinking, you know, the background, it uh, it scrolls with the web page. It would be, I think it would be nicer to, to have the wallpaper um, staying, you know. So when I scroll, it only scrolls this uh, part of the page. I haven't really looked into how to do that, but I know I it, it's possible somehow. You see here, this is kind of ugly in a way. I, I, I really don't like this most of the time to... to uh, this is called embedded... Um, uh, you embed the, 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 the image directly here in the CSS. Some people uh, believe this is uh, extremely smart to do this because it... it it will make so so when you load the web page, it will only load like the HTML and the CSS file, and then you have the images 
hard coded into the CSS like this. That means you will need to make less requests to the um, CDN or the, the, the web server. And that makes for a faster first time load. But it's only faster the first time because this also means that, that the image here, it only exists inside this document. So the, uh, uh, the browser and the client cannot cache it locally. So every time you load the web page, you need uh, it will uh, fetch this image, but you will only use one request. Uh, if you don't use this technique and use like a normal like a normal person and and uh, uh, import external images instead, then then uh, uh, the browser the client will store that image in cache and the next time. Uh, you load that site, it will not request the image from the server, it, it will uh, take it from the cache, and that's actually faster than, than this method. Uh, especially, or, or it depends on how much of this stuff you're doing on the web page and what kind of stuff you're doing. Uh, SVG files are actually quite, quite nice to do this with because it's so, so little code, it's not even um, decoded, you know, it's uh, whatever or it's not even base64 encoded or anything. But still, it's something I, I, I don't think... Um, I think this is a bad, bad practice if you do it too much. But whatever, let's do it now. Doesn't really matter, that's like small, small things. Um, and I also do it for the uh, icons in the sidebar here. These are also uh, SVG images, but yeah, that's a completely different story. I think we have to make a separate video about that. Mm. But let's say I want to use the, the cogs here now. So I comment this, we can make a comment here also say circuit, oh, cir circuit, I don't know, it's too early. Uh, lines and dots so just so i know which pattern this is comment this one out or delete this line uh, and here this one is um, bricks there but let's use the cogs because it's a good uh, background here for this uh, case use case also uh, since it's so busy um, uh, it will force us to, to make good uh, breakpoint rules here because this this looks really weird or maybe it doesn't look that weird to, to have this but I do think it would be better without it here uh, and I I think that and now this is a tailwind thing with tailwind you can write at screen like this uh, and then is it screen parenthesis XL. Let's let's try that. I'm not 100% sure. I don't think I've ever used this. Uh, and then body. Yeah, I guess I could have copied the whole block instead there, but this. I'm not sure this would work. No. Let's see here. Screen, yeah, and here you can see also I found this hero patterns on the Tailwind page here on resources. I, I know I, I'm a big Tailwind fanboy right now, but whatever. Here at screen functions. There it is, at screen. Oh, no parentheses then. I think that's uh, this. There. Now we don't have a background, but when we hit the extra large breakpoint, it's visible. But smaller, we don't have the cogs. I don't know, I think that's good. Let's, let's uh, look at it in, in full screen here. Yeah. I think I like this. And maybe the extra large breakpoint is fine. Maybe I don't need to add my special 
extra breakpoint. But maybe I should just to try because I never added uh, my own breakpoint. I don't know. Um, to add a breakpoint, I think I need to breakpoint. Yes, here screens. So I guess I can just extend screens. In my tailwind config here. And then we call that one LG2 and make that 1200 pixels. Hope this works. No. Ah, maybe it's uh, this one. There, we got it. Yeah, and the other breakpoint seems to work here. Great. Then, uh, going back to my CSS here, we change the breakpoint point here now to LG2 instead. Fourteen. 1262 and there now it breaks at LG2 and that's where the pattern is hidden I think that's fine yeah we definitely not want a pattern here no I think this is good great Okay, now for the banner, um, we don't want these uh, blue, and that's because the banner is, because this container here is my article container, uh, and the article container has a bunch of rules for, for pre-blocks and, and code blocks and stuff, and those apply now to, to the banner here as well, so I think I need to add some, some extra rules here, uh, here. Uh, let's see what that banner is called. Banner has the class. Wonder if we should use this class ASCII here. exists, you know. This will probably work as well, but it's not as clean. change the background there but I would rather have it to have no background at all maybe I need to do a dirt track here and use normal CSS uh, background colon none yeah it's better and also border colon none There, that's fine. That's okay. That's I can live with that. Uh, not using uh, pure tailwind rules here. When 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 it's like these uh, blanking rules, there is probably some tailwind uh, uh, syntax for that as well here. But it doesn't really matter. Right, starting to come together. Right now, over me.
Yeah. This is nice. Um, next thing I would like to do is uh, when I hit the medium breakpoint, you can see then the sidebar uh, disappears. Uh, and I would like uh, like a burger menu here or a burger button. Uh, clicking that should display the, the uh, or bring in the sidebar. Uh, and when I hit the small uh, uh, screen breakpoint, I, I think um, I would actually still have the burger, but this time uh, the, the sidebar will not be a sidebar, it will cover the whole screen. I believe that's, that's better because the sidebar would be like half of the screen anyways. It, it, I think it will look better to have it like full screen on, on small, small screen sizes. So that's the next thing here I would like to do. And on, on extra large and, and large, I think I, I will not uh, add like a burger or anything, the ability to, to toggle this, uh, it will always be visible on these screen, screen sizes, just to fill up the, the screen space a bit. Personally, you know, I, I have a, a screen size looking something like, well, no, it didn't work here because we have this, um, if we do this, uh, this yeah, th this is like the normal uh, browser with I use it would look something like this I, I, I think it's fine I also was thinking about I have never tested this but I think it's not impossible or difficult to add to, to make the sidebar resizable but maybe that's just stupid you know um, I don't know yeah, let's skip that. I, I think it's possible completely with uh, just pure CSS, no JavaScript needed. All right. I don't know, 17 minutes doing some sidebar hacks. I do believe this uh, sidebar hacking will be a little bit more uh, uh, complicated, but whatever, let's do it. It might even be whatever. Let's take that in another video. I, I, I think I need to experiment a bit with it before I do a complete live uh, fool on myself. Anyways, thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye.